Good evening, I'm Allie Corey. And I'm Mark Wilson. Thanks and uh, welcome here on this Friday. New at 6 o'clock tonight, she was stabbed 18 times. Pretty remarkable. And she's lived to tell us about it. Tonight, the woman who was attacked viciously by the father of her own children this week in Tampa speaks about her recovery from her hospital room. Her name's Crystal Bresnahan. She's still very much in shock over the attack, which ended in that deadly police shooting. Fox Routine's Josh Cassidy joins us tonight from our uh, newsroom with more on this emotional story. Josh, we're so glad to hear she's doing well. What a survivor. Yeah, Mark, Crystal Bresnahan says she is doing as well as she can, all things considered. She told me there had been some abuse in the past, but she never thought the father of her children would ever attack her in the way he did. She says they were swapping kids on Monday when Michael Bresnahan tried to force her into the car at knife point. She says she was not going to get in the car, fearing that if she did, she was going to be killed. From there, she says he brutally stabbed her multiple times in front of her kids and then took off, leaving her bleeding in the roadway. That led to a police chase, which ultimately ended with police shooting and killing Bresnahan. Again, tonight, Crystal is still in the hospital. She has had multiple surgeries. She says her kids are what got her through such a traumatic experience. As I got to the, the passenger side of the car that was facing the fence, he tried to get me in the car. He put the knife in my back, um, you know, told me, get in the car, don't scream. I immediately just started screaming. Uh, you know, I, I started fighting because I knew that I had no chance if I got in the car. Who's going to take care of my kids if I'm not here? That was, that was all that was going through my mind is I, I have to survive this so that I can take care of my kids, so that I can love them, because nobody's going to do that like I will. A fundraiser has been set up to help Crystal recover from all this. In part, it's to help her buy a new car because it was her car that was destroyed in all the melee. Again, tonight she says her main focus, though, is on her young children who unfortunately had to witness all this. She wants to make sure they get the help they need so when they're ready, they can move on and hopefully grow and thrive again. She says they were her motivation to scrap and survive such a brutal attack, Mark. Back yeah, we you. hear police say that all the time, too. If you're in a situation like that, whatever you can yep. Yep. do, do what you can not to get in that car. That likely saved her life. Absolutely. She's so brave. Josh, thanks.